Hello, I'm Lottie. I'm the person behind Lot's Life, which is an ethical and sustainable blog based in Aberdeen. If you're here for the first time, welcome. Um, I've just been trying to live more ethically and sustainably for a while now and trying to work out what that means as well because it's a lot of words but what does that actually mean and what does that actually look like um, in the day to day so I found that it can be quite confusing and complicated at times there's so many ways of doing things there's so many things that kind of are going wrong I guess in the world and I want to try and find a simpler way of living that is better for me that's better for people around me and better for the planet and I want so that's kind of the purpose of the blog to try and help anyone else out there who wants to be doing the same thing but who maybe is too busy or doesn't have the time or the money to kind of look into it I'm also a student so I will be doing this on a budget um, I'll be trying to find the cheaper ways of doing things but in a way that is still investing into people and um, into local products as well. So one of the ways in which I'm trying to live more ethically is by having less waste. So whether that's less food waste, whether that's less packaging, like you know with beauty products, hair products, even our food, and trying to find ways in which I can shop that has the less weight, that's producing the less waste, is ethically made and is hopefully locally sourced. Um, and one of the places I've found that Aberdeen has is a refillery or otherwise known as a zero waste store. Um, and I was very excited about this because I didn't realise that we had one um, and I've always wanted to visit one. So for those of you who don't know, a refillery is a store which is based on being more sustainable, more ethical, surprise, surprise, and uh, what it does, instead of having the food pre-packaged, it comes in containers that you would then take in your own containers, whether that's jars, tubs, whatever you have around the house, and fill up your containers there and then pay for it and take it home. And I visited the other week and before I went, I was thinking, oh, like, what do I take? Do I take these containers? What's the best sort of containers? You know, are there many people allowed in? Everything like that, especially with the COVID restrictions right now. Um, and I thought if I'm having questions and I'm quite interested in this sort of thing and I've wanted to go before, um, a lot of people might be wondering about how they how they shop at a refillery. So I this week I'm going to be um, visiting Rosemary Planet and uh, I'll be taking you along with me. So I hope that's okay. So I'll be showing you what kind of containers I'm going to take, um, how you do it, what what's available, and I'll show you prices as well because I realise. Um, it can seem like a ex more expensive option sometimes, so um, I'll try and be honest about that and show you the price difference. So I will take you along with my shop and I'll just show you my containers just now. So first of all, I tend to have a look around the kitchen, see what it is I'm running out of, see what it is that I might need, and then see if there's any containers that I could just take along and refill, um, saves using a new one. So what I ended up taking was just what I had lying about the kitchen. So like some old jars, um, a salt and pepper shaker, and just used some old containers, an ice cream tub, and just a plastic container as well and I used a white pen just to write on a few of the lids what it is I wanted to put in so I'd remember when I got to store. And then as I gather them throughout the week, I just put them in a bag by the front door so that I'm all ready to go to Rose New Planet. Rosemary Planet is a small refillery in Aberdeen City that is situated on Holborn Street in a quite central part of town and has a small car park over the road making it quite accessible. Um, it has the opening times and the COVID-19 regulations stated clearly in the window. Because of these regulations, only two people are allowed in the store at a time. So the owner, Magda, very kindly opened the store early so we could come in and film and shop. The store has just celebrated its first year anniversary of being open in November this year and as you come in it's you can see it's a complete unique experience to compare to supermarkets and other shops. All the packaging used is reusable or recyclable and all the food and cleaning products and hair products are all in containers that are just refilled when new stock comes in. 
It has a really lovely feel to it as you're walking around the store and despite being quite a small shop, Rosie Planet actually stocks quite a few products and items. It has a lot of household staples such as your rices and beans and um, oils and spices as well as vegan sweets and really delicious fudge and homemade peanut butter. They also stock some local products as well as the day-to-day -day kind of products that you would use like hair products, cleaning products and ethical kind of items that are a sustainable alternative to a lot of the things you'd use on a daily basis. These range from soaps and toothpaste to beauty products and even some dog treats. Now we've had a good look around, I'm getting an idea of what's on offer and what I can fill my containers with. So I'm just going to take you through a really easy step-by-step -step guide on how to use the refillery. So first of all, I've got to weigh my containers. So I go to the scales in store, put one container on at a time and select I have an empty container. I then print a label off and I tend to put this on the bottom so that I can keep bringing my containers in, not have to keep printing stickers. If I need some more glass bottles or something, there is a glass jar bank in store. There are also paper bags for some items and there are also bottles you can buy for cleaning products. For cleaning products and flour, you just ask who's ever's in store to fill those up for you as they can get quite messy. But otherwise it's up to you, you just fill up your containers in, at your own pace and it's relatively straightforward. That is unless you're me and manage to spill rice all over the floor. <laughs> There are also funnels available that you can use if you've got really small containers, just means the food goes in a lot more easily, especially for herbs and spices. You've got these white little funnels and some scoops to help you. And then once you're done with those, you just put them in the container on the counter that is labeled dirty scoops and just so that they can get washed before someone else uses them. Once you're finishing up, you just take all your products back to the scales and this is where we'll scan the labels from earlier. So again, you just place them one at a time onto the scales and this time you select, I have a filled container. You then scan the label you printed off earlier and it will tell you how much of the product you have in kilograms and how much the cost is. It will then print a new label, which is what you will take to the till and is what will determine the price of your containers. So once you've done that with all your containers, all that's left is to take them to the till to get tallied up. And this is the final step and is obviously done by whoever's in store, which today was the lovely Magda. So it's just a very easy, simple way to shop and actually it's one that I really enjoyed. So at the end of my shop today, I ended up buying nine items for 26 pounds and 80 pence. Here's a shot of all the items I bought, how much they weighed and how much they costed. From that, you'll be able to see that granola was very much the most expensive thing on the list. Um, it Probably because it has raw cocoa powder in it, it has a lot of nuts and seeds and it's gluten free. So that will definitely add to the price, um, making it more of a luxury item. It's not something I could buy in my week to week, but I was very much looking forward to eating that as a treat. Um, the cheapest thing on the list was the ground coriander, so that was 46 pence for pretty much a full one of these, which is brilliant, um, and probably cheaper than most supermarkets. It's probably because um, in the UK you can grow coriander and herbs are pretty much inexpensive anyway, but that's definitely a good item to buy. Um, in the middle, middling range was probably the washing up liquid, which was £2.35, which was pretty good actually. Um, obviously not including the bottle, which you wouldn't need to buy, you could grab one of the bottles or jars there in the bottle bank or bring your own. Um, so that was £2.35 for this size of bottle, so you probably pay about £1, £1.50 in the supermarkets anyway. Um, considering this has no waste involved, no plastic, and it has probably less ingredients than most um, 
ones that you buy in the supermarket. It's a really good buy. Um, it doesn't have any of the colouring that you would see in the supermarkets, which my husband didn't understand at first. But um, yes, that was a really good buy as well. It's definitely something I'd buy again. I really enjoyed shopping today at Rosemary Planet. I loved the layout of the store. I loved how clean it was. And I love going in knowing that I'm not producing any waste that's gonna end up on a landfill because of how I'm shopping. Um, I, also, I also found that I was more intentional with what I was buying. So I was much more aware of what it was I needed because I was taking my own containers and because I was filling up the majority of the stuff by myself. Um, it was very much going through a mind, okay, what is it that I actually need and not buying anything that I don't, rather than in a supermarket where I just throw it in, um, throw it into my basket or trolley without thinking too much about it. So I really enjoyed that aspect of it. I definitely will be going back because the things that I use on a weekly basis, like olive oil, the flour, the ground coriander, the washing up liquid, um, was pretty much at the same price that they would be in the supermarket for organic. Um, for organic products and things like that so I will be going back so thank you so much Magda for letting me in early to um, shop and film the whole experience I had a really wonderful time um, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video I hope it was helpful please give it a like if you did please comment below and feel free to check out my blog as well at lotslife.co.uk there'll be another blog post going up with an interview that I did with Magda so um, yeah thank you for joining us today hope you enjoyed coming along for my shop and hopefully see you soon Bye.